When it takes to the skies, this odd-looking plane will be the largest in the sky. The Radia Windrunner is being designed for a very specific purpose – to transport wind turbine blades to where they're needed. As the world looks to wind power to combat climate change, more and more of our energy will be generated by these massive windmills. Love them or loathe them, we've all had to come to terms with wind turbines dotting the landscape. There are wind farms on every continent, and half the countries in the world have commercial wind power operations. According to data compiled by the Energy Institute, wind power accounts for a little over 7% of the world's energy generation. The challenge now is to increase production and improve the efficiency of wind turbines in the battle to reduce carbon emissions. And when it comes to wind turbines, the bigger, the better. Moving these massive blades around can be a nightmare. However, a new concept in air transport could turn it into a dream. The huge wind runner will hopefully be the answer to getting these massive turbine blades from factory to site. Since the turn of the century, wind turbines have practically doubled in size and are expected to be 50% bigger by the end of the decade. Wind turbines are measured in two ways. By what is known as the hub height. That's the height above the ground of the middle of the turbine rotor where the generator is housed. And the other is the rotor diameter, or the width of the circle swept by the rotating blades. The average hub height of wind turbines built these days is around 100 meters, a little taller than the Statue of Liberty. Turbines this size generally have blades between 70 and 80 meters long. The next generation will have hub heights of about 150 meters. The turbine towers are becoming taller to capture more energy since winds generally increase as altitudes increase. Wind flows more freely the higher you get above the ground, with less friction from the Earth's surface obstacles such as trees, buildings and mountains. Fifteen years ago, there wasn't a turbine in the US with a rotor bigger than 150 meters diameter. Now the average is 130 meters. To put that in perspective, the diameter is longer than a football field and almost twice the wingspan of a Boeing 747. Larger rotor diameters allow wind turbines to sweep more area, capture more wind and produce more electricity. A turbine with longer blades captures more available wind than shorter blades, even in areas with relatively less wind. Harvesting more wind at lower wind speeds can increase the number of areas available for wind development. The biggest wind turbine these days is about 6 megawatts, but even bigger ones are already being developed. GE has a prototype of a larger wind turbine operating in Rotterdam in the Netherlands. The tower of the giant Halliade X is almost 250 meters high and with blades 107 meters long, the sweep diameter is 220 meters. The Mammoth wind turbine has a rated capacity in the region of 13 megawatts. A single turbine produces about 74 gigawatts of power every year. To put that into perspective, one sweep of the blades produces enough energy to power a home for two days. Higher capacity turbines mean fewer turbines are needed to generate the same amount of energy, ultimately lowering costs. However, not everything is plain sailing. If bigger is better, why don't we see more large capacity wind turbines already operating on land? The one word answer is logistics. As we can see from these pictures of India, large turbine blades for land-based wind are difficult to transport and install because once constructed, they cannot be folded or bent. This limits the routes trucks can take and the radius of their turns. 
The longest blades currently being regularly transported by roads are about 70 meters. Another drawback is that land-based wind turbines are often located in remote areas with poor road infrastructure. Here in China, the risky route of a blade being hauled up a mountain road shows the precarious nature of constructing wind farms in remote areas. And this is where Wind Runner, the world's largest aircraft, comes in. Built by Radia, Wind Runner aims to deliver these oversized cargoes to the remote locations they are needed. The world's largest aircraft is, understandably, impressive. With a length of more than a football field at almost 110 meters, the fuselage can snugly accommodate a blade for a new mega wind turbine. The Windrunner will be a monster dwarfing the largest cargo aircraft operating, such as the Boeing 747 and the Antonov 124. The Windrunner will be the largest plane in the world in terms of size and cargo volume. With a cargo capacity of 8,200 cubic meters, it's about 12 times bigger than a 747. The plane is evolutionary rather than revolutionary, relying on tried and tested aviation technology to accomplish its mission. The unique design ability to land on semi-prepared airstrips less than two kilometers long makes the aircraft even more impressive. The idea is that Windrunner will be able to transport these new turbine blades directly from the factory to the construction site, virtually doing away with road haulage. When the Windrunner takes to the skies in a few years, it will enter the growing niche market for outsize road transport aircraft. Aeroplane maker Boeing has its fleet of Dreamlifters and Airbus its Beluga transporters. Their primary task is to support airliner production by transporting assembled parts between factories. But the Windrunner's nearest equivalent was the Antonov 225. The only model built had been used to transport smaller wind turbine blades until it was destroyed in the war in Ukraine. If Radia's Windrunner concept takes off, it will open up thousands of possible sites for more efficient giant wind farms worldwide. It just might be the catalyst for achieving the International Energy Agency's goal of generating a third of the world's power from land-based wind turbines. Remember to hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay updated with our latest content. And while you're here, why not check out another one of our exciting videos? Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.